might be able, to, be able to open up the playbook a little bit more on Saturday. I mean, I, I noticed I saw you lining up out wide with an empty backfield. I'd asked you about that before and you mm. didn't say anything. So, <laughs> there. But, but yeah, how did it feel to, uh, to see a little bit more of that type of stuff and, and you know, get a little bit more creative and, and start to show what Jeff, Jeff Tedford's doing? Uh, it's, 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 a, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, pre it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I talked to Shane Vereen, who was a former running back at Cal, and, you know, prior to him coming um, coming here, and he told me I was going to, you know, enjoy uh, Jeff Tepper's playbook. And, you know, so far it's, it's, you know, it's, pretty, it's pretty versatile, and, you know, we have people in certain spots to make plays, and I'm pretty excited for what's to come next. I mean, they have you guys involved in the screen game, you know, you're seeing the reverses and stuff. That, that has to be fun. It is fun. It, it, it is fun. It kind of, you know, brings me back to, you know, Boise State days. You know, we were kind of the you know, a trick school team, but you know we have you know we have some things in our pockets. But you'll see it. You like the, the new I, I do, I do. You know, it keeps a lot of defenses on their on their heels. Um, you know, if they're not if they're not in good condition, you know, it's, it's it's to our advantage. It's too soon probably to notice any advantage for you, but have, did you run that much in college? Uh, we did have some up tempo, um, you know, up tempo plays that we that we did in Boise State, and um, and yeah. I'm, I'm pretty used to it. Like it. I do. You had to work on route running and, and option routes and different, just different receiving type type skills this year. It's kind of challenged you. Yeah, yeah. Up your game a little bit. Yeah, and that's another thing why I like you know Jeff Tepper's playbook because it has the running back running all types of routes out the backfield and um, you know from you know it's. It's definitely helped me as a player and in, in my position and then what I do and you know, you have to be you have to be a versatile running back in this league. You just can't run the ball, be able to run the ball, pass block and right. run out of the backfield. So it's definitely a and I help my game. Doug, how did you feel when when they drafted Charles Sims and in the wake of that there was all that talk about well they needed this pass catcher out of the backfield? Like you've worked pretty hard at becoming a pretty good pass catcher, haven't you? Oh yeah, I have. Yes I have. Um, you know, every day I have practice between uh, during special teams I have I'm an assistant coach, throw me balls and, you know, go through different types of situations where, you know, low ball or high ball and, um, you know, I've done a, I've done a good job of, of, of catching the ball. Is it possible people have forgotten about you after 2,000 yards as a rookie just because you were injured last year? Is there any chance that, I know other teams won't obviously put cool. on the film, but do you like just kind of, I think I saw a quote you said laying in the weeds a little bit? Yeah, I did say that on the article, um, just laying in the weeds. Um, you know, I know what I could bring to the table and, you know, the rest of the team does and I'm sure other teams know, but, um, you know, I just come here, do my job and, you know, everything else will fall into play.